897,000 tons of pesticides have been used worldwide this year. Pesticides have been linked to birth defects and changes in our hormone systems. Nonetheless, we spray it in our food. 2.8 million tons of pesticides are used globally every year. In this video, we will talk about effects of pesticides on humans. First, they mess up your hormone system. Pesticides are used to protect crops from pests and insects, but there is a downside. They have been linked to a number of health effects including birth defects, cancer, and neurological damage. Some pesticides are also known to mess up our hormone system. They have been suspected of causing infertility. Men who experience infertility have been found to work in agriculture, pesticide-related jobs 10 times more often than men who do not experience infertility. Nonetheless, every year we use half a kilo of pesticides to everyone on the planet. Spraying it on stuff we eat. Don't be in shock if I tell you that bodies of newborn babies are polluted by pesticides. Scientists long believed that the placenta protected the cord blood and the fetus from pesticides and other chemicals, but not anymore. Studies have shown that the umbilical cord carries not only the building blocks of life, but also a steady stream of industrial chemicals, pollutants, and pesticides. The EWG refers to this as a human body burden, the chemical pollution of everyone on the planet, including babies developing in the mother's womb. A study of baby cord blood found an average of 200 industrial chemicals and pollutants present and identified a total of 287 different chemicals, including pesticides. Of the 287 chemicals, 180 are known to cause cancer in humans or animals, 217 are toxic to brain and nervous system, 208 cause birth defects or abnormal development. This is disturbing beyond words. And to top everything off, we don't know much about the effects of this chemical mix in babies as it has never been studied. But it's probably safe to assume it's not exactly doing any good. Pesticides are truly an accomplishment for the consumer economy. They are everywhere. They have found their way into our food, the air we breathe, the water we drink, and even into human breast milk, including pesticides containing so-called persistent organic pollutants or POPs. Besides being highly toxic, POPs are resistant to environmental degradation. Because of this persistence, they accumulate in nature and the human body. Exposure to POPs are known to cause developmental defects and cancer and can interfere with the reproductive, central nervous, and immune systems. Today, POPs can be found all over the world. From the bark on tropical trees to the blubber of whales, tests on trees in more than 90 locations worldwide found POPs everywhere. In 1935, 30% of harvests were destroyed by pests, crop diseases, insects, weeds, etc. In 2000, this number had gone to 37%, despite a massive 42-fold increase in the use of pesticides since 1945. Besides, the pesticides used today are many times more powerful. Pest resistance is a growing problem. Over time, some pest species develop resistance to pesticides. Stronger or new pesticides are therefore needed. Resistance to the toxic DDT pesticide, for example, appeared as early as in 1946. And pesticide resistance has today been detected in about 1000 major pest species. There are more than 20 different types of pesticides, normally categorized according to the pest they target. Main types include insecticides, herbicides, biopesticides, and fungicides. Herbicides are the most common pesticides and account for approximately 80% of all pesticide use. They are targeted at killing plant weeds or pests. Doesn't really sound like something you want to eat. Nonetheless, almost 70% of the food sold in the US contains pesticides. According to the EWG, 225 different pesticides were identified on fruits and vegetables and up to 18 different pesticides were found on a single product. In 1960, the global pesticide or crop protection industry was estimated at less than 10 billion with around 100 active ingredients available to farmers. Today, the industry is valued at over 5 times that 50 billion and there are around 600 active ingredients. Feel good to know that better solutions exist. There are natural solutions to pesticide problem. Rice farmers in China have shown that growing multiple varieties of rice in the same fields can double yields without the use of synthetic chemicals. The increase is due mainly to reductions in pest losses and also to more efficient nutrition uptake. That's all now. Hit the like button and subscribe to watch more informative videos. Goodbye.